Hey everybody, today is Sunday, September 10th, 2023, and we are back at RetroCon for day two of RetroCon 2023. And of course, I am back out here with Danielle. That was, that was slick. Back out here with, wait, you gotta do it right. Back out here with Danielle. And <laughs> she's looking amazing today as well in her, her mouth kateer. Wait, can you do the, the Danny? You gotta, no, you gotta, what? You gotta, you gotta, go, you gotta go like, Danny, ready and go. You didn't even say it. Fail, fail on so many different levels. She's looking amazing though. We, we can all agree on that. She might not know how to actually act like a Mouseketeer. She may have never actually seen a single episode of the Mickey Mouse Club ever, but, but she does look amazing. And I guess when all is said and done, that is really all that, all that matters. But all right, so we are back here for day two of RetroCon 2023. Their biggest, their baddest, their most amazing. This place is just insane with how many people are filling this place. It's a little slow this morning. The weather outside is kind of crabby. It's, it's actually raining. It's pouring down rain right now. Plus it's it's Sunday, so the, the crowds will eventually trickle in a little bit more, but I've already made a bunch of sales and they, they, they just opened up and I've already made a bunch of sales and um, I think everybody else is as well. So we're pretty pumped, we're pretty excited. At some point, my son will be showing up. We'll be doing a little thrifting together. I know he's on the hunt for some Pokemon cards and stuff like that. Hopefully it won't take us like three hours to go through the convention because that's pretty much what it did yesterday. I'm hoping since he's only specifically looking for Pokemon cards, it won't take us nearly as long to uh, to, to walk the uh, the entire convention because it's, it's nuts. Some people were telling me he had been here for like five, six hours walking around, seeing everything there is to see, because there is just so much to do here, so much to see, so much to buy. If you're coming out here, you uh, you might want to bring your your wallet, bring your bring your money with you, because there is a lot to buy. But all right, guys, so I'm excited. I'm pumped. Day two of RetroCon 2023. I'm hoping maybe I find some more stuff as well, maybe some like Spice Girls, maybe some movies I looked over yesterday. You never know. Either way, though, we're having a fantastic time. You got, I'll do it right, I'll do it for you, ready? Danny, there you go. <laughs> you may have also noticed that uh, Danielle and I were both rocking jackets. It's a little chilly in here. They, they do crank the AC inside these places so that when it does get crazy crowded and there's like 100,000 people inside this um, this convention hall and it's, it's it's getting very musty and very very warm from all the all the nerds breathing heavily and whatnot over the their excitement for it. For the toys and stuff, and myself, myself included in that nerdum, it, it gets it gets really warm in here. So they do crank the AC so um, it doesn't get too warm. In fact, yesterday I was I was sweating walking around. It was so warm in here because there were so many people. But when there's not when there's not a ton of people, when it's just a small crowd like it is this morning, it's a little a little chilly. So I'm actually kind of freezing right now. Look who has shown up. Patricia is here straight from Walt Disney World. You were just you were just down there and um. And my favorite She's. <laughs> Wait, who's your favorite musketeer? There you go. Finally, she's. I, I, I trained her right. So Patricia's bringing some uh, some gifts here. We've got the uh, the complete first season of Obi Wan Ben Kenobi on Blu-ray and Dark Crystal: Age of Resistance, the complete series on Blu-ray. And yes, these are customs from the from the customs guy at the Columbus Flea Market. That is awesome. That she uh, grabbed those for me. So very cool for for fifteen bucks. That's awesome. And then I I have brought gifts. Gifts for you as well. We got some Flintstones down here. We got the uh, Flintstones uh, Collector's Edition Volume 1 VHS tape for you. I know you're super excited about this. We've got Flint, what's your three? Do you know how many of those I've thrown away? <sighs> a lot. There we go. It's John, it's John Goodman. It's supposed to pop it's supposed to pop off. So that's that's all I don't even know where that oh it's behind it's behind me. So you got some you got some John Goodman Flintstones. Because comments down below, the Flintstones movie is fantastic and Patricia should love it and, and find it as amazing as, as I do. And a little a little place at a Flintstones place at as well. It's Flintstones kids and I'm not a fan. And now you have to start collecting for the Flintstone kids. See? Have a See the, the the thing is I I just I pick up all the stuff you don't collect for and then you end up having to collect for it. Uh, because yeah. I'm an enabler. Yeah. That's and, that's how and, it works. And what did I pick up for Danny? What did, you got something for, for what? <laughs> oh, what did, what, did, what, did, what did Danielle get? get? We got a bag Whoa, of ears. Whoa, bag full of, wow, look a at all bag that. bag full of ears. Tons of mini ears because yeah. 
totally what Danielle needs. More, yeah, we've got problems more too. ears to add to your collection of 475 million ears. One of these days, I'm gonna do a video just on your, just on your ears alone. It's, it's insane. All right, so Sean just showed up. He's um, here to do some thrifting with his, with his daddy, looking to get some Pokemon cards. I did see, I did see Pokemon cards yesterday when we were here, but um, I, I just, I, I overlooked them. I didn't bother to go through them because I knew today we'd be going through the Pokemon cards, so I completely just bypassed them all yesterday. But I know they have them. I know there are Pokemon cards here, so I guess I better get ready to uh, to spend some money. Okay, so Sean has shown up. So what are we looking for? Pokemon cards, obviously, yeah. but are you on the hunt for other things as well? Maybe my, like Mario Pops. Ma like Ooh, Disney okay. Oh, wow. So you're looking for all kinds yeah. of stuff. So all right. So the same stuff I was looking for last year plus Pokemon. <laughs> so same stuff as last year, just Pokemon added onto it. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So we just got a pack of cards here from McDonald's. These are, I guess, match battle cards, as it said inside. They come with like some weird little spinny thing as well. I guess it's part of the, the game. And there was one of those those discs, those like plastic discs that are also somehow part of the game. We're, we're, st we're still learning the ways of, of how to play Pokemon, the card game. But um, I don't think you actually, I mean, maybe you do. Do you have any like of the, the match battle cards or the battle match I, cards? I only have one of them. Yeah, I, so do you, there, there's a pack of cards in here that's unopened. Do you want to do you want to get this for two bucks? All right, so we've we've been here for uh, all of like two minutes and already Sean found cards. But at two bucks, I mean, yeah, he should he should get these. So I'm getting this feeling that um, once you have your new bedroom set up and you start hanging up art and stuff, you're gonna want some of this like custom stuff, aren't you? I mean, look look at this. That is. That is pretty amazing. Look, there's there's Link there. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff. All kinds of, look at the Pokemon. I'm sure there's Mario in here, probably some. Oh, look at that. That's pretty awesome. This one has Mew on it. Yeah. Oh, it's got it's got a weird like Batman riding a Mew and, then, and a Deadpool riding a, um, riding a Pikachu. And there's Batarangs and Flying Tacos. That's actually kind of awesome. And look at all of these. Those are cool too. So we're gonna be buying some of these eventually, aren't we? Yeah, probably. It is very early in the morning. I actually have not eaten yet today. So the idea of just sticking a whole bunch of sugar into my mouth sounds absolutely terrible, but not for a not for a nine-year-old. They were giving out again free lollipops over there. And as you know, yesterday I got my amazing, delicious cream soda lollipops. The best flavor of dum-dums there is. I think Danielle ended up getting like what, cotton candy and butterscotch. So, all right, but what did Sean end up going with? Oh, orange? You're an orange guy? Is that your is that your favorite flavor of Dum Dums? Wow. I would not have thought orange. I would have thought maybe like, like a cotton candy, bubble gum, maybe watermelon. Orange. I mean, you learn something new every day, even, even about your own son. This is why I love Sean so much. Most kids would be like, I want that, I want that, I want that. Gimme, 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 gimme. Sean went through all these cards. Yeah, he went through all the cards and goes, nah. I just, I just want these two. I just want some unknowns. I don't, I don't, I don't have unknown K, and I don't have unknown B yet. I just, I just want those for a, for a buck a piece. I'll, I'll pass on all the other cards. I mean, we, we raised you right. That is, that is awesome. So, all right, you're, you getting the unknowns? Yeah, those, are, those are cool. These are pretty awesome. But the last thing I need are more enamel pins. But I'm, I'm digging the, uh, the Halloween one. That is actually really, really cool. And the, uh, the vampire one here is also really neat. I don't know, is that actually from anything specific? I think it's just a random vampire, but still, that's that's pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I, I just, I see this stuff and I'm so tempted to buy it, but my jacket is completely filled. You said not to do that. I know, my jacket's completely filled with enamel pins. I don't need more, but oh my gosh, they got mini movie viewer reels here. This is Batman, look at that. When do you ever see, see those? Well, I mean, I see them every day because I have a mini movie viewer, like actual player in my collection, plus some of these uh, these reels. That is cool. What are you asking on the, the reel here? Okay. That is... Five bucks. Oh, that is so cool. See, I don't have a Batman one. I mean, do I really need more? Do I, do I need more of these? I don't ever watch them. I, it's Batman, though. I, <laughs> I might be back for that. I mean, not that Sean really needs... Pez dispensers, but I think I have Pez dispensers to be on the lookout for now because Sean's really digging the um, the Pikachu and the Eevee dispensers. These are awesome. But they're $20. It is $20. Yeah, we're not, we're not spending $20 on, on Pez dispensers. <laughs> Though, if this was X amount of years ago, back when I used to collect Pez dispensers, I mean, I'd probably already have these in my collection, but if I didn't, I'd be dropping $20 right now. Those are awesome. Man, I I miss collecting Pez dispensers. I, there's just so many cool ones out now. When I, when I collect them, 
it was they, they just put them out very selectively and things had to be out for like 10 plus years for them to actually make a dispenser out of them now it's like every new thing gets a dispenser i i'm, I'm jealous of that i, I wish i kind of wish i still collected honestly i know i literally just told you guys the last thing i need are more enamel pins but they have some really awesome ones here that I'm extremely tempted to pick up. Look at the, the cool genie with the applause sign. That's awesome. These are 10 and $15 over here. Yeah, I'm really tempted to grab some of these, but Sean and I were, were really eyeing up these $5 ones because they have these really awesome, like Pokemon with the uh, the Game Boy. That is that is pretty cool. So which, which one do you like? The Charmander. You like, you like the Charmander? I like the Charmander one too. I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted. See, I already have a Game Boy pin though on my on my jacket. Like, do I need another one? I don't, one? I don't know. You want you want one? All right. So, which one would you want? The you want the Charmander? The All right. You want the Charmander pin? I'm gonna get you the Charmander pin. All right. We're finding more Pokemon cards. Sean just went through every single one of these and picked out two he wanted. So this is a a Slow King. That's awesome. It's kind of like it looks like a crystal. Yeah. This that... is a version in like some of the Pokemon games yeah. where like you can like do a special attack using like. Oh, that's, that's what this is? <laughs> I, I have no idea. Just right, right over my head. That's that's awesome. So cool. And then you're getting the, uh, the, the what's it, Le Leafeon? That's cool as well. So three bucks a piece, but they did um, two for five. So, all right. You're getting some, dude, you're getting some cool cards today. I don't know how I completely missed over these yesterday, but apparently I, I did. There's a whole boatload of DVDs and Blu-rays here and some really interesting things. I actually don't, well, I, I, I mean, I do have a lot of this, but there are some things in here I... I don't have, but yeah, I guess I, I guess I actually do have, have most of it. But I am finding one thing I want to pick up, and that's this sailor suit and machine gun. I have never seen this. I know nothing about it, but it's an arrow release and it's brand new factory steel region A, and um, it's only ten dollars. So I think I'm gonna pick that up. I mean, I'm intrigued by that. They also had Vampire's Kiss, which which I need because this is the one that has the commentary track on the back. I, I did replace my copy with a with a widescreen copy, which is great, but um, my copy did not have the. Uh, the commentary so i do need this but unfortunately disc was not like 100 percent minty so i don't know i'm just i'm being ocd i'm passing on that but again they had a lot of really really good stuff here some things that i'm like tempted to upgrade or just get like more different versions of but i don't know i think i'm just i'm gonna be good 10 bucks i'm just picking up this wait a minute hold on i feel like i'm getting a look of disapproval from from sean he goes you don't want to spend too much money is it because you just want me to spend more money on you for pokemon cards <laughs> but I know, but I'm I'm seeing something else I, I want. It's Extreme Prejudice, the Vestron release, which is pretty awesome. So brand new factory sealed also for, for only ten dollars. I'm thinking I need both of these. Hey, if you get if you get this to buy Pokemon cards today, I get to buy movies today, right? It's only fair. It's my it's my own, my money after all. So alright, I'm I'm picking both these up. Sean just came across a whole bunch of Pokemon cards here that were only four for a dollar. So which ones do you get? You got the energy switch, okay. All right, what is that thing called? A, a tanger muzzle? Okay, like that, that thing. That one, it's a, it's but a, you don't you don't have like the shiny version of it? Okay, and whatever that cute little thing is. So, all right, cool. It's cute. Nice. So, man, you're, again, you're just making out with the cards today. That's that's awesome. Four, four for a dollar. See, that's why you have so many Pokemon cards. Because honest, unless you're getting like the fancy, crazy, like expensive ones, the rare ones, they're stupid cheap, which, again, if you're going to get into collecting them. But sometimes but, some yeah we do find we do we is it yes. wow so that was a, that was a good price for that one then so yeah if you're gonna get into uh, collecting for Pokemon cards buy like 20 binders because you're gonna fill them up really fast wow so all these cards here are like the the fancy V cards and like GX and EX and, and whatnot cards and they're all three for five dollars so you ended up grabbing wow a Mewtwo that's cool a Lucario and whatever the heck. A, yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know what that thing's called. But all right, those are those are amazing looking cards, and for like five five dollars total, yeah, that's awesome. I don't know what was going on with me yesterday, but apparently I was just looking. You know what it was? By the time I actually got to to walk around and um, and see what there was to see here, I was already like dead tired. It was kind of late in the afternoon, so I guess I just walked past stuff like this. I'm seeing some cool things like this Roger Corman double feature set. That's that's amazing. I I don't have this. I'm I'm very tempted by that. And they also have, check this movie out, buddy. It's called Deathbed, the bed that eats. It's literally about a bed that eats people. How weird is that? I've heard of this movie. I've never, 
I've never seen it though. They're asking $10 on this as well. Uh, I'm so tempted by so much of this. I, well, see the disc isn't like, I wouldn't see, I would, I paid like $5 for that, but I think in that condition, I'm probably gonna end up passing on that. So let's see what the condition of this is. It's an old, um, looks like, like some, uh, GameStop release or something. And yeah, you know what? Disc is not minty on that either. So, okay. All right. All right. You know what? I'm, I'm happy because I, I want those and I would totally buy those, but in that condition for 10 bucks, I'm gonna pass on them. Though, even in that condition, if the, the deathbed was only five bucks, I'd, I'd, I'd pick it out. All right, so I had to walk back and ask if they would do five for the uh, for the deathbed, the bed that eats. I, I've heard this movie is just terrible, it's awful. Even the guy who sold it to me, he's like, the movie's so bad, but then he goes, you're probably gonna like it. And you know what? I probably will like this movie. It looks, again, it looks terrible. I heard it terrible, but I don't care. For five bucks, I had to pick this up. If you guys have seen it, leave a comment down below. I think I'm gonna be passing on these, unfortunately, but um, wow, there's Chopping Mall there for like $150. I don't know why Chicken Little and Cars are in there. I, I guess those are rare on VHS. I'm not entirely sure. They got Hollywood Chainsaw hookers and um, some awesome Elvira there and the howling. And yeah, there's a lot of really, really cool stuff on VHS in here, but um, they're, they're all movies I already own. I don't I don't need, actually, I don't think I, I, don't think I have Hollywood Chainsaw hookers. I kind of want that, but um, I don't need it. I don't need them on VHS and I'm not about to spend $500 on VHS tapes. If I, if I ever start dropping $500 on VHS, well, I've either hit the lottery or I've gone completely insane. Either way though, that's a, that's a lot of money for a VHS. We're on our last row now, and Sean's finding, once again, more Pokemon cards here. So for a total of $5, you got two different Jigglypuffs. That's awesome. It's a Jigglypuff. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Jigglypuff and a Clefairy. I thought you got two Jigglypuffs. You can't tell. They're both, they're both pink. They look almost exactly alike. Those are those are cool. I don't know what the Chin Chin Char Chin 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 Chin, okay? And um, whatever the heck that thing is. So, all right, cool. For for five bucks, five or no, four more awesome cards. I can't, I can't count. I haven't eaten, again, I haven't eaten yet today. I'm starving. Maybe I, maybe I should have grabbed a, uh, a lollipop, probably. So these are the new Halloween trick or trade Pokemon cards for this year. These are the ones from last year. You have almost a complete set of the ones from last year, right? Yeah. But as far as the ones from this year, you only have a couple, of, a couple of the cards. We only got you a couple of the packs. So yeah. we're gonna get you, um, we're gonna get you another pack of these. Why? Why not? For a buck? Yeah. For we gotta pick those up because you know what? You need a complete set of those as well, right? You gotta. You know what you gotta do? You gotta catch <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, unfortunately, our time with Sean is done. But you got some awesome Pokemon cards. That's that's amazing. You got some really really cool stuff. But I gotta go back and, and man the booth, make some more money to make up for all the Pokemon cards I bought for Sean and all the Pokemon cards I'm gonna continue. To buy for Sean, you're like you like need a new binder already, right? Yeah. You need like a fourth binder. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I <laughs> maybe a fifth. Yeah, I, I gotta go. I gotta go make some money so I can spend more money on on Pokemon cards. Whatever it whatever it takes to make my my little man happy. That's that's all that matters. And Chris is here as well. Oh. <laughs> all right. So yesterday was so insanely busy. I never really got a chance to go around and see any friends. So I, I never got to see Mr. Lobo oh my yesterday. Gosh, he's the angry video game nerd. Unbelievable. How how did I know that was coming? I just I I I, I just I, I knew. Somehow it's like I'm 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 psychic. I there knew I knew that was coming. You. There was a line for you here yesterday. It went all the way back past the 18 van. And you know they they wanted you to talk. Uh, uh, they wanted you to, something about a diarrhea dump in a. I, I don't know. I there were. You want you to regale them with your. I just. Friend. I need. To, I need to start making the money of James Rolfe, and then you can call me whatever, whatever you want at that point. So I'm. I'm picking up some stuff from Mr. Lovewood here. I'm grabbing a. I'm grabbing a sticker. These are awesome. I already have a. Um, a Cinema Insomnia sticker on the back of Annabelle, but I'm thinking I need a, a, a Mr. Lobo one as are well. You sure, are you sure that's the one you want? Because there's a you have different colors? Oh, I don't know. I mean, yellow matches the, look, or, oh, matches, look. matches the tie, but ooh, green. Green one, which are, check out maybe some of these, maybe a red. See, you, you're, I'm too indecisive, I don't know. Purple? Purple? This is like the waste, the Mace Windu. <laughs> Of, uh, Mr. I, I'm, I'm liking that one. I don't know. Is that a blue one behind it as well? Uh, yes. Oh, you got blue also. I don't know. I'm thinking, I mean, again, yellow, yellow matches the eyes. 
but I'm thinking, I'm thinking green. Okay. Something about right. green is speak, speaking okay. to me. That is, that is awesome. So, all right, all right. Seventeen dollars. Right. <laughs> I'm definitely picking that up. That is so cool. And Mr. Lobo was throwing this in for free. This is um, Cinnamon Somnia. Mr. That's Lobo cool. goes to RetroCon Return of the Dinosaurs because I may or may not be featured. It's in this? Might be, it might be David, uh, Mr. Sickness. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's retro, retro rest stop now. <laughs> oh, retro rest stop. Yeah, you know that guy who just digs through the bins at the oh, Goodwill? Oh, no, he's, he's that guy who, who does all those, uh, those, those um, video, oh, videos about video games and stuff, right? Oh, yeah, right, right. That, that guy, that guy, that guy. Yeah, he's on there for sure. That's awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, weren't, we weren't lucky enough to have the angry <laughs> video game nerd on, on, on that episode. <laughs> well, I appreciate you throwing. You got you got the the, the B list but, uh, celebrities. No, but seriously, uh, uh, getting a side note. That is awesome. In the episode, that is so cool. The very least I can do is give you a copy. So, well, I, I appreciate uh, I appreciate that. that. I have I have watched these because uh, you guys can check it out if you go to the. Uh, the OSI 74. You can check it out on Roku. There's a Roku app for it. You can add it to your Roku. Which is, what, which, is what, which is what I do. That is awesome. It's like a, uh, I would say it's like a, a UHF station from another universe. That's a good, that's a great way of putting it. Yeah, a lot of weird programming. It's awesome. I watch it all the time. Uh, cartoons and old movies and weird TV shows. And, it's amazing. Uh, Australian game shows and, <laughs> uh, and horror-hosted horror movies. And know? of course, Mr. Lobo and all his all his glory. A lot of, I don't think your, your fans even know what a horror movie host is. <laughs> I, I think they do. Uh, they, like Elvira. Maybe they might know Elvira. Elvira. Mr. Lobo's kind of like Elvira, except Elvira has but a but, but better. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what, what would that she be? Has, she has better distribution oh. and, and a good agent. That's... Fair, fair, fair enough. Those two things. <laughs> so all right, that's, that's awesome. So yeah, Mr. Lobo sticker going on the back of Vanderbilt tonight. And um, this is also getting watched tonight. That's amazing. So as always, it's a and pleasure to see you. And I'm going to check out this retro rest stop. You, you should check out retro rest stop. Good way, way better than that, that, that angry video game dude. I, I, I don't know what that's about. So. Right, good seeing you as always. So the whole weekend thus far, Danielle's been eyeing up this um, pop down here, this Funko pop. The, uh, the Bo Peep Toy Story 4 Funko Pop of her in her, her underwear. Yes, by the way, have, has anybody else ever noticed that throughout the entire movie? She's just walking around in her underwear. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. She's she belted it, so just, it's an outfit. I'm just pointing out, she's walking around in her underwear during the entire film. Anyway, so she's been eyeing this up saying, man, I, I, I really want that. We should just accidentally like knock it into, into one of my tubs down here. Chris, I never said Chris, anything Chris like would, that, Chris. Chris would, Chris would never, never notice. So um, in appreciation for you watching the booth, I, I, I picked it up from Chris. He was asking 15 for it, so they would just do 10. So there, there you go. There's your Bo Peep in her underwear. Hope you, and, hope you enjoy. <laughs> the Funko Pop actually matches Danielle's tattoo. Look, look at that. That is, that is perfect. Danielle is rocking the Bo Peep in her undies on her leg. Seriously, what, watch the movie. Walking around the entire time in her underwear. <laughs> for, for a company that's so opposedly woke, I... I don't know. They've got they've got a bow peep walking around in her underwear for an hour and a half. <laughs> so unfortunately, Patricia is is leaving us. Have you walked around? Got some cool stuff. Got some cool Flintstones things. Not not much. You I gonna, have a lot of are stuff. Are you gonna post a picture on social media as to what you found? Awesome. So you can check her out at where on Instagram. Flintstones fan. Flintstones fan on on Instagram. Check out to see everything she got. It's awesome. But anyway. Chris here apparently has some stuff to, to be to be passing over. So what what did you get her? So bad. Love it. Oh so, wow, what are these? We have some Flintstone bubble buddies. Oh that's cool. Bubble buddies. Oh nice. We have so Fred cool. and Pebbles from my personal collection. Oh wow. Like wow. Well you know what? Like the, the stuff I gave you is from my personal collection as well. Just 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 saying. Just saying. And then we the found friendship. these on our travels. Those are cool, uh, yeah. Have Fred Flintstone, Bam Bam. Barney and Pebble. Nice. These are like the puffy stickers. Puffy stickers. Yeah. 70s or so. So I just bought these sealed. I didn't know that's what they were. <laughs> like just now? That's what I bought here. Well, now you got doubles apparently. Wow. But, so, all right. But, but the yeah. Creme, the, creme. the creme de la creme. The biggest or the smallest. The biggest. Is the tiny mini, little weird big, big wheels. wheels. Yeah. Flintstones Dino Cycle. That is awesome. Still brand new factory sealed. sealed. That's cool. It's, it's, so it's, it's bigger than Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna ride it. I would not do I'm that. Not, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna go my collection. That's awesome. You're the 
best. Thank hey. you for looking out. See, this is wait, wait, wait. I like how Chris gets, you're the best. I give you amazing he's, he's Flintstone, the worst. Flintstone, the best. Flintstone kids and Flintstone movie merchandise, yeah. and you're just like, eh, whatever. Well, I mean, that's the last time I ever give you Flintstone movie merchandise. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, yeah. No, thank no, you. no, no more, no more Flintstone movie merchandise for you. No more Flintstone kids for you thank ever you. again. Thank you. you promise. It's it's all gonna be movies and all kids stuff from now on. Well, that was a first. I just had a little girl come over and ask if I wanted to trade anything for some figures she had. She had a, um, a WWE wrestling figure that I had no idea who the character was, somebody who I've never seen or heard of before. So I, I passed on that, but she had something else I wanted, so I pointed to a bin of just like loose toys I had and said, anything inside there, I will trade for this one toy you have. I had the trade for the, the, the Quickie Mart. Thank you, come again, a poo here. In a, um, in a pumpkin. This is one of the, the Halloween Burger King Simpsons toys. This is awesome. This is so cool. I'm going to put this on display in the, in the house for, uh, for Halloween time. That is amazing. Yeah, I had, I had to take this. I was like, that, that, that's just too cool. So yeah, a little, little trade. I gave her something I had for, for something she had. That's awesome. All right, so the, um, the show is almost over. We have about a half hour until the, uh, the convention is completely finished with, as you can see, some people are already packing up to get out of here as early as they possibly can. I figured we got a half hour. Let's just walk around. I don't know, maybe pick up some scraps. Maybe we missed over some stuff. Maybe we can get some deals because this time of the day is when you actually get the deals because there's some people who just don't want to take this stuff home. So sometimes you can be like, hey, you know, I, I know you got this like $40 item, but I know you don't want to take it home. How about like 20 bucks? And I'll say, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know if there's actually anything we. We can go back and get me all those wandas since you want me to have a. Yeah, wand to totally. We're gonna get right. We're gonna get right on that right <laughs> now. Here we go. Yay! Totally picking them up. <laughs> Just, I'm getting right on that. Okay, so I think that's it. We actually have to get back to our booth now. RetroCon has officially come to an end. But I did pick up Criterion of Bottle Rocket for only. Uh, Five dollars. Somehow I missed this. Out of all those Criterions I looked through yesterday, I don't know how I missed over Bottle Rocket. Did not have this yet in a uh, in a Criterion on a on, not on Criterion in a, in a Criterion. I guess in a Criterion release would be how you how you word that. Anyway, needed this for my Criterion collection collection. Not for ten, for five. That is awesome. So, all right. Again, with that though, RetroCon unfortunately, sadly, is coming to an end. What did you think of RetroCon? Did you love it? I did. You better have. RetroCon's <laughs> fantastic. I love coming out here every single year. So this is your first time really doing a convention. You said you went to you said you went to a horror convention like years ago like for a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. This is your first time like really attending and going to and like being involved with a, a, a convention. Yes. Was it fun? Did you like it? Would you do it? Would you do it again? Yes. Will, will we be seeing you at many 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 more <laughs> conventions to come? We'll be seeing you in many many Flor coordinating Florida? Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're going to make me dress up more, aren't you? So, so excited. Everybody <laughs> loved it. Fine. Comments down can, below. can we at least find a hat that fits me next time? Because that, that, <laughs> yeah. uh, that, that top hat was, was ever so slightly too small but for I my gigantic melon. I top hat for so many more outfits. Your son can wear it because it was about his, probably his size. I think it was so tiny. <laughs> he All right. Well, we'll be seeing you at more conventions, which is good. Maybe we'll do some Florida conventions. Yay! I, I need to start looking into those. I was just about to sarcastically say, and now comes the fun part where I have to pack everything up. But honestly, packing up isn't nearly as bad as setting up, especially if you sold a lot of stuff. And I did sell a ton of stuff this weekend. I have a lot of empty bins. So lots of, lots of empty tubs coming home with me, which uh, is a really good thing and also makes packing up a heck of a lot easier. A lot less trips out to the, the van and trying to fit everything back into the van. It's, it's gonna be nice not to have to, um, to worry about that. So yeah, packing up not, not such a big deal. Gonna quickly um, do that, tearing down the um, the shelves here. That's that's gonna be the, the worst part. I, I hate these stupid things. Thought I would never have to use the wire racks again, but um, this weekend I had to use them. But it paid off because a lot of stuff out of these wire racks sold. Oh, all right guys, so that's gonna do it for RetroCon 2023. I'm now officially a gigantic ball of sweat. Everything's been packed up. It's in the, yeah, don't, do not touch me right now. You do not wanna. Do, do not touch me right now, I am disgusting. So the van has been loaded up. Everything is ready to go back to uh, back to the house. But um, Chris has something here. He wants to, to show off. What, what, what is this? It's a blank piece of paper, obviously. But on the other side <laughs> is this oh, mobile wow. press kit signed by Katie Leaf, who was here today. She was the voice of Baby Wolf. Nice. In the original 80s cartoon. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. That's a, that's a good... 
That, that's, that's a good one. That's, that's, that, that's a good. That's what that is. That's, that's, good. that's, that's, good. A, that's a good. That's good. All right, guys. So, yeah, that's going to do it for RetroCon 2023. It was amazing. I sold a ton of stuff. I know you sold a ton of stuff. For some reason, you didn't seem to sell much of anything, unfortunately. <laughs> you, you sold your you, stuff. You sold oh. your looks. You got, you, you got your photo taken about 475,000 times. Like every time somebody thought, can I, get, can I get a photo with you? Especially today. Lots of creepy men in like their 50s and 60s had to get their photos taken with you and your. It's, it's the it's the Danny Masketeer that that sealed the deal for a lot of guys. So yeah, you helped you helped make you helped make you helped make me some sales, which was awesome. So it was a fantastic once again another fantastic year at RetroCon, their biggest and best, most grand year ever. This place was insanely just filled with people selling stuff buying stuff it was a madhouse both saturday and sunday probably that we were seeing the best sunday we've ever had here at oh at retro con my floor it was it was amazing so if you guys have never been out to retro con book your tickets book your plane tickets put some gas in your car book your hotel tickets whatever you have to do for retro con 2024 you do not want to miss it i'm gonna be here i'm sure chris is gonna be here danny danny's gonna be here right you're gonna come for 2024 right of course we'll all be back for retro con 2020 for. We're, we're already excited for next year. So, all right, guys, again, with that, we are done. So, as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do come on Patreon, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also, check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest t shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon, do help support the show and they keep the show going. So, I really do appreciate that. And check down below for a link to Muppet Stuff. And check down below for a link to. Danny at Disney. And we'll say, check check down below for a link to, because he did help us out both days. I check down below for a link to. Jersey Geek, Instagram, and YouTube. And because he was the best darn neighbor I've ever had, check down below for a link to. Big Dog's Toy Chest <laughs> on YouTube, thanks. There you go, all right guys. And if you guys watch the video all the way until the very end, you know, I'm gonna, I know what, I know what today's hashtag should be. Hashtag Danny. Danny. If you guys, if you guys watch the video all the way until the very end, hashtag Danny. If you can, if you can figure out, if you can figure out some way to do a wave in the hashtag, <laughs> go for it. I don't know how that would work, but all right, guys. Seven E's. It's, it's an I. It's an I. I'm saying it's E because it's like it's your, how you pronounce it. Danny. <laughs> it's like it an I. It's Danny. It is so time to go home. Anyway, like I said, thanks for watching. Hit the, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. All right, bye.